Match AA Affiliate celebrates festival legends with that name. The 41st Annual Strawberry Festival in Owego, New York takes place this weekend and Mets Affiliates is uniquely positioned to celebrate it. The AA Rumble Ponies, located just a 25 minute drive from Binghampton, have transformed into the Southern Tier Shortcakes for the next three days. But a strawberry themed weekend wouldn't be complete without Mets legendary legend Daryl Strawberry who got his own shortcakes bobblehead Thursday and will attend Friday's game. Quote, this has been a weekend and we've push, been pushing for months now, so we're really looking forward to it. Ben Campton Director of Community Relations, Amy Fancher said. Just excited to get everyone on, out on the field and see them in their jerseys. The fans in their merchandise, all the strawberry themed concession items. With Shortcakes Weekend, Binghampton is not only representing the Mets, but the entire section of New York State. The southern tier is geographically region, geographical region of counties situated along the northern part of Pennsylvania border, with the city of Binghampton located in Broome County on the farthest right side. And with June being Strawberry Reason in New York, well, it's the perfect promotion for the team whose parent club once drafted a player first overall with the last name as the fruit. Quote, this is the first time we're bringing in this, end quote, for Fancher said. Quote, I think he's really excited to be here and meet all the fans, and we're really excited to have him, end quote. The shortcake's name is an obvious nod to one of the most delicious strawberry desserts out there, and the logo is probably even cuter than you think it'd be. Reminiscent of the chippy art style, the shortcake sports two big eyes and stubby little legs, complete with a strawberry cream filling in the middle and a dollop of whipped cream and strawberry on its head. Instead of a baseball bat, the smiling shortcake is holding a whisk with a batter dripping off it. Quote, fans are super excited. Phones have been ringing basically off the hook, and we've sold a ton of tickets for the weekend, Fancher said. Everyone has been looking forward to it, so we're excited to have some big crowds. And those have been some of your sports updates from Tyler Moore's podcast. Thanks for watching.